Hello and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another fantastic episode of Dine with World. Today we are going to demystify and teach you um, the basics of Italian cooking. Ita yes, everyone's favorite cuisine. Um, Italian food uh, is rich, full of texture, and uses a whole palette of flavors. From the initial crescendo to the last bite, every Italian dish uses the most basic but the most flavorful ingredients. And to teach us how to do this, we have the executive Italian chef of the Islamabad Marriott Hotel. He has come to Pakistan all the way of Italy, and I'm so happy. Uh, hello, Carlos. How are hello, you? Hello, Mina. I'm very fine. <laughs> Thanks. I'm, I'm really excited about today's show because I know we're going to learn so many new things. Even though I cannot pronounce the Italian name, Chef Carlos is kind enough and patient enough to... I don't know the Urdu name, so... So, uh, perfect. We will teach one another. Yeah. You're right? What is the first recipe we're going to make? Today we're making something is not real Italian uh, uh -huh. food, but something like for uh, Pakistani people. Because oh Pakistani my people God. like very much chicken. Yeah. <laughs> and in Italy, we don't, we never making uh, pasta with chicken. Never. Yes, we never. really. That's a sin. We, uh, I'm sure it is. Okay, yes, and here we do put chicken. Uh, yes, yes. So perfect. Uh, Carlos is nice enough to adapt his his, his uh, dishes for us. And what is this recipe called then? Today we're making a uh, rigatoni, rigatoni pasta uh -huh. with uh, chicken. Rigatoni pasta with chicken. Uh, this is rigatoni pasta. Yes. Uh, and uh, you can, of course, use any kind of pasta that you want. Yes, of course. Uh, short pasta is better. Short pasta is better. Perfect. Let's go into the ingredients of this uh, recipe. And the ingredients of uh, rigatoni with chicken or rigatoni con polo are rigatoni, 80 grams, olive oil, 20 milliliters, chicken boneless, 80 grams, turkey, 50 grams, bell pepper, 40 grams, zucchini, 50 grams, parmesan cheese, 50 grams, tomato sauce, 50 grams, and cooking cream, 70 milliliters. So Chef Carlo said uh, in Italy, pasta with chicken is considered to be something really bad. No, I mean, no, of no, course, it's no, not part it's of the culture. Bad, but, uh, not part of not part of authentic Italian cuisine. Yeah, I was yes. just kidding. But for us, he has adapted the recipe so that you all can make this at home. Thank you, Carlos. Let's start. Let's start. So, we switch on. Yay. Rigatini, nice. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, we starting with chicken. That helps. Yeah. Like this. We add olive oil. And we serve such dishes in zucchini too? Yes, After of, course, of course. Really nice. That is one of the uh, our best pasta. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. Otherwise, um, the authentic way is using uh, red meat. No. No, uh -huh. we don't. We don't, we don't use meat at all. Yes, yes. Uh, Bolognese is, is with meat, but uh, uh, beef. Beef, all right. And not mutton, but beef. Yes, no mutton. Uh, mutton and chicken we don't, we don't use, use. All right. With pasta. Very, very interesting. I don't know why, but <laughs> <laughs> in the Italian traditional uh, food, chicken are chicken, the pasta are okay. pasta. So chicken is used. Uh, all right, yeah. I yes, understand, in, in main courses, it, yes. as a whole. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. We prefer it. See, we get to learn so many things about um, cultures, different cultures and cuisines, uh, thanks to our chefs here. Sometimes we, uh, we use uh, chicken with uh, rice. Really? Yes. Okay, but that's not something. with pasta. I, I had veal here um, at the Zuglini, yes. and it was really tender, very nice, and creamy too. I remember there was lots of yes. black pepper. Amazing. But but you never you got you you were always healthy. Mm. <laughs> how, how and why? I, I mean, uh, obesity is not really common in Italy. I've seldom seen heavy people. Yes, because we use a lot of vegetables maybe uh -huh. for that. All right. And we don't eat a lot of pasta. Okay, a just bit. a small portion. Yes. And in and uh, exercise, or probably just a being more. Uh, mobile, walking a lot. Yes. Yeah. Also, before, uh -huh. not now, <laughs> not because <laughs> we have cars, bikes. <laughs> yeah, through that. So um. Now we had the 
Salami, other yeah, kind of salami. Beef salami, salami no, it's perfect. Mm, nice. The pasta need to boil it for 10 minutes, okay. not more, not oh, more right. than 10 okay. minutes. We don't like uh, soggy pasta. Yes. Uh, all right, that's a great tip. Uh, just boil the pasta for 10 minutes, otherwise it's going to be too soft. Minutes. Okay. Uh, uh, the real way of making pasta is it should be firm to the bite. You should be able to cut through it. Yeah, not very hard. Yeah, yeah. You should be able to bite. Perfect. Really nice, yeah. Mm. And now we're going to add the crushed red chilies. Yes. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Is this a fresh tomato sauce? We've made it, or is it? Chicken? No, we make uh, before with uh, uh, onion, uh, onion, carrots, and we boil uh, the tomato, peel the tomatoes for 20 minutes. Wow! And after we blend. Really? Yes. So um, this tomato sauce, um, Are, uh, we make it in normal Italian, Italian uh, okay. tomato sauce. Uh, so you boil carrots. You put in the thing. Yeah. Peeled tomatoes, carrots, right. onion, and right. you leave to boil it for 20, okay. 30 minutes. All right. And after you blend it. Blend it. Amazing. Thank you. Okay, so you, you don't have to buy the canned sauces. You can actually make this at home. Because sometimes yes. they're too sour. That's what I feel if I buy a canned tomato sauce ah, or it's pasta. It's very easy and... Uh, okay. Do we add salt and pepper in the, in the uh, Only sauce? Only salt. Only salt. All right. Let yeah, me just repeat this. A lot of people don't like pepper, don't like the spicy okay. food. So. All right, all right. Amazing. Uh, I'll just repeat this. Just take uh, whole onions, uh, no, cut onions, that's okay. Chop carrots and peel tomatoes. Boil it for 20 minutes and then add some salt and just blend it. So we and have the olive oil, of and course. Of course, olive oil, yeah. Wow. Now we have cream. Cream. Mm -hmm. Another. Uh, this looks really nice. Think we don't use so much in Italy cream. Okay, but you ad adapted the recipe yes, for yeah, for uh, Pakistani for people. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Mm, oh, this welcome. looks really nice. I love pasta, Carlos. As you can see, I'm waiting eagerly, waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> and now that pasta ready. Thank you. Wow. This, you, I think we should have this at home. Wow. And mm. we had <gasps> My parmesan, favorite! Parmesan, parmesan cheese. cheese. The original. This is so nice. And the fork. Mmm. This is just done. We yeah. just made it in 10 minutes. A little minutes. more uh, cheese because you like very much. Yeah. I love cheese. Thank you. <laughs> Now 
Platz ist. Cheese. This is going to make it more creamy. Um, before I taste this, I, it looks just so amazing. I'll do a favor uh, and I'll just do a recap. We um, we boiled the rigatini for 10 minutes. Uh, to make the sauce, we added um, olive oil, chicken, um, zucchini, bell peppers, and uh, crushed uh, red chili and tomato paste. This was homemade, um, sauteed it, and then we added turkey ham as well, along with chicken. Um, after it's just done, 10 minutes, Add the cheese, mix yes. it, and we are ready to serve. And I will taste it. Carlos, yes. I'm so excited. Mmm, this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow, easy to make and uh, oh, easy yes. to eat. It is delicious. <laughs> you have to make this. The children will love it. You know, I will keep this on the side because it's for me. <laughs> and our second recipe, Carlos, what is it called? Petto di pollo al forno in crosta di formaggio. I have it written. It's very long. It is. It is. Uh, easy to make. <laughs> I, I have it written down. It's called petto di pollo al forno in crosti di formaggio. Yes. Di formaggio. It's a chicken, fried chicken with uh, cheese uh, nice. baked in the oven. Wow, fried chicken with cheese baked in the oven. This is something we don't want to miss. So just grab your pencil and paper. The ingredients uh, of this recipe are boneless chicken 150 grams, breadcrumbs 20 grams, mozzarella cheese 20 grams, eggs 1, iceberg lettuce 70 grams and tomatoes 100 grams. These were the ingredients of this beautiful long dish. I will not repeat it. <laughs> Very difficult. And this yellow board, I can't stop noticing this. This is used for, for uh, chicken. For chicken yes. Only for chicken. Only for chicken. We Amazing. Are, uh, policy of uh, Asian policy here in Marriott, and oh, uh, right. we're changing uh, the um, color for every kind of food. Really? Blue for uh, fish, green for vegetables. Nice. Yellow. No, it's not nice. Okay. It's uh, hygienic. Uh, hygienic. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Hygienic. Very, very interesting. Thank you for sharing this information. <laughs> Let's welcome. go on to the ingredients. Yeah. So we're going to use chicken. Yes. Uh, breast chicken. Yeah. Head, bread crown, mozzarella cheese, mutton, flour. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, meda. 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 Uh, I love it. Yeah, it's <laughs> Olive oil. Yeah. Salt. Perfect. And that is for... Uh, Garnishing? Garnishing, okay. yes. Sounds great. And these are panko breadcrumbs, right? Yes. The coarse ones. Yes. Okay. Sounds great. Let's do this. Let's do it. So, we start with put some oil. Yay, I got this right. No, no, other side. More, more, more. Two. You can do it. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, keep the olive oil. Let's to dice fry, the chicken. To fry. Okay, you're going to butterfly it. Yes. Okay. And after. Hammer it. So, you cut the chicken from the middle in the shape of a butterfly. Hammer it with the beef mallet. Make sure you don't hammer your finger. I can certainly do that. <clears throat> Flatten it. Now, the egg. First, okay. we put flour. Dredge this in flour. Working with help, and we add a little salt. A little bit of salt and breadcrumb. Very easy to make. Yes. 
Yes, all our recipes are Very easy, easy yes. to make at home. Oh, yes. But you know, the, most, the best part is it's easy to make, but the flavors are so strong. <laughs> it's so delicious. And that's that's real cooking. And after we fry it. Very uh, soft. Stop. We don't cook okay. or uh, very cook at the because okay. after we put in the, in the oven. oven. Carlos, it's like you cook at home as well. Enjoy it, or you like ah no more cooking. No, no, no. I, yeah, I cook. it's very therapeutic. It makes you happy when you cook. You know, you're yeah. giving it to people. They're enjoying it, so you kind of be nice about it. My clients like to cook at home <laughs> for yes. friends, for family. Very nice. My grandfather that. cooking for old family on the, wow. every Sunday. Wow. Because he is a hunter, so <laughs> <laughs> he likes to cook. So your mother is uh, a better cook than you, I know. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, all my moms are. All moms. <laughs> you close to your mom? Oh yes. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, she's young. She's young? Yeah. How old? If I may ask. Seventy-seven. And in uh, 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 nice. Uh, <laughs> And in Pakistan, that is, you know, people like, it's, it's very psychological, we're old, but I think it's all in the head. Yes. You know, all in the mind. You should just stay positive. Oh, she enjoyed very, very much the life. She, yeah, very yeah. nice. <laughs> See, it's a motivation we should learn. It's all in the head. Oh, my father is. Wow. They go to ski. Skiing? Yeah. Nice. And how old is your dad? Oh, the yeah. same age? Yes. He is retired for the, for the, from job, so I'm okay. very happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. Enjoy your life while you can. I mean, we take lots of stress for no reason, you know? Yeah. Take a shot, just be happy with whatever you have. And now we put in the oven. Oh, we, we had add, added lots of mozzarella yes. cheese on top. Okay. Yes. Mmm, this is amazing. And uh, also a little bit of parmesan. This is, this looks so heavenly, Carlos. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh, no, no, not a little bit. Lots of cheese. It can't get better than this. Your children will love it. And we put uh, inside. Put it inside for how long? A few minutes. Yeah, five minutes maximum. Okay. And we're cutting uh, some salad. Okay. Vegetables are getting very important. Uh, ingredient in Italian cuisine. Oh, our, uh, light so we that little leafy main yes. course. Some tomatoes. I think, uh, I think we're done. Ready. I think the cheese has melted. Mm. Now we see. Hmm. Yes. Mm. Looking good. Oh my God, Carlos. You have to come to the Zigalini for this, guys. Look at this. Wow. That's it. This is amazing. Can I? Yes, I. This is Petto di Polo al Forno in... No, I think it's very few saying. Petto di Polo al Forno in Crosta di Formaggio. In other words, it's uh, chicken, chicken fri with <laughs> a fried chicken baked in the oven. With cheese. With cheese, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> it's so easy to make. Um, your children will love it. Your family will love it. Your friends will love it. And of course, you will love it too. Um, this looks heavenly. I can't wait to taste it. So, 
Okay, here we go. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. hot. Mmm. Amazing. <laughs> nice. It's crispy. The cheese, you can feel it melt in your mouth. Amazing. Very delicious. Thank you. Carlos, we <laughs> love you more. <laughs> we always did, but now we love you more. Okay. So, um, the third recipe, uh, I'm sure it's going to be just as exciting and flavorful. What is it called, Carlos? Mutton. Mutton. <laughs> <laughs> and in Italian, it's called? Uh, agnello. 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 So, it's Costel di Agnello. Costoletti di Agnello. Costoletti di Agnello. Chopped lambs. Chopped lambs. Lamb chops, yeah. Lamb chops. <laughs> so let's go into the ingredients of this recipe. The ingredients are mutton chops, 220 grams, flour, 10 grams, butter, 15 grams, olive oil, 10 milliliters, potatoes, 150 grams, table salt, 5 grams, black pepper, 2 grams, balsamic vinegar, 15 milliliters. So these were the ingredients of Costolete di Agnello. Uh, let's just uh, do a quick review of the ingredients here. That is uh, costolette di agnello. Costolette di agnello, all right. Flour. Mutton chops, yes. flour, perfect. Butter. Butter. Olive oil. Olive oil. Black pepper, flour. Yes. And here Garlic. we have something to make uh, for potatoes. Amazing, on the sides. Yes. Great. And we're going to grill it? Yes. This is something that we should buy. For many ladies who uh, don't know how to, how to use your ovens for grilling, uh, why not take this? So, we're starting. Yes. And what are we doing, Carlos? I Taking the meat off. Yes. Okay. And after the... Don't work. So, Carlos, uh, I heard, yeah, that you have also done documentary production. So, I mean, that was your passion, or you wanted to do this before you came into no, uh, cooking, no, the, or...? No, we making something when I was in the, at university. University, <laughs> nice. <laughs> were you not at university? I studied sociology. And uh, were you, uh, like, a studious boy, or you were...? No, no, no. Bunking or having fun? How, how did it go? A lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all that my life. That's all. That's <laughs> nice. That's as it on. That's the way it should be. Be happy all the time. Yes, I come back now from Vietnam. I enjoy the beach. Very <laughs> nice. Yes, Carlos had gone for vacation. We were trying to get him, and finally we have got him here on Dangerberg. So um, yes, take the meat out. Um, the knife should, of course, be very sharp. It's just going to make your life easier. And after we. Okay. Can I do one bit, please? Oh, Can yes. I hammer it? Thank you. This way up. One. Enough? Yes, 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 I'm yes. thinking of someone, okay? <laughs> Just kidding. No. Now, we put with some flour. Flesh it in flour, perfect. Not so much. And we grill. And this might take some time, right? Mm, yes. Because now we're making time. Uh, yeah. some potatoes. Okay. So, using uh, butter. Some butter. Thank you. I love this. Very nice. Big dollop of butter. And we add some olive oil. Olive oil. So the butter don't burn it. 
Okay, a uh, great tip. Add olive oil in butter so that it doesn't burn. Uh, very nice. We add some garlic, garlic. Potatoes. Our are potatoes. These are boiled. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, you put in the cold water, and after four minutes, they boil it for four minutes. Okay. You can take off and start to right. use. And uh, that's it. You must only to wait. Perfect. We'll wait until this is done. So we just um, added rosemary here yes. and the aroma. Uh, it's a beautiful fragrance. And my, the pitch of my voice has gone up because I'm very excited. So by the time, you know, this cooks, uh, let me get this a big jar of pasta. <laughs> Let's talk about pasta. pasta. Different kinds of pasta. Uh, ta -da. Uh, can, can you help, help me? You? Thank you. Of course. Maybe something's not. No one's opened it. Ah, yeah, sure. there we go. This is rigatoni. 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 Yes. yes. This is. Uh, uh, I don't know. This one, pen pasta. No, this is penne. Penne pasta, penne. Yeah, penne. perfect. This one is the beautiful round shell. Yes. So shell shaped pasta. All right. What else? Fusilli. Fusilli. It's a spiral shape. All right. And which kind of pasta we have here? That's it. But it's a beautiful pasta jar. Look at this. We mm. have a butterfly. Yeah, yeah. There's no butterfly but here. But not here. Yeah, there's also butterfly pasta. Oh, nice. We have a lot of yes. different kinds. Of, oh, yeah. I was reading about like, it. Uh, Andre, uh, different kinds of pasta wow. for soup. Wow. Nice. No, it's not nice, but... Uh, it's not nice? <laughs> oh, it's, 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 it's amazing, it, you know? Italy... Uh, has this, different regions. Yes, and... Uh, uh, Italy exists from uh, hundred years ago. They start in... Uh, oh, that's why. So kind yes. of kept on evolving. Yes. All right, nice. Before every city are enemy of another city. So <laughs> every city make a different kind of pasta because yeah. we yeah. are different. We, we are won't best. be better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, competition so <laughs> did that. Competition gave uh, life to hundred different kinds of pasta. Nice. And we are happy because oh, yes. it, it's helping us. It's and the recipe changing is for, uh, from yeah, every city. Yeah, yeah. If you go Amazing. to Bologna, you eat uh, Bolognese uh, sauce mm -hmm. are different of the near city of Modena, for example. Amazing, amazing, lovely. And the people of Modena hate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's kind of like the biryanis. Here yes, the biryani yes, is different, yes, yes. in Karachi the biryani is different, in Karachi the biryani is fantastic, and in Lahore it's different, so yeah, I get it. So I think we're just kind of nearly done. Um, do we add more olive oil? Yes, yeah, a little bit. Okay. And this is done? This is done, yes. The potatoes are done? Should yeah. I remove them? They will get soggy. No, no, leave It's me. okay. okay. I don't like uh, the mutton uh, not cooked. Okay. Right. I prefer it good. Well done. Okay. Well done. Right. Like, like me, of course. Yes. Beef? No. Beef, uh, I like raw. Okay. <laughs> you know, there was this beef I had. One of my colleagues, she was from South Africa. I don't know, uh, Carlos. It was, uh, it was in lots of salt water, maybe, and they leave it to dry. It becomes very dry then. Oh, yes. What is it called? Uh, in Italy, we call the carne salada. Okay. The salt meat. It's um, it was delicious. Yes. I can never forget that taste. And ah, very. Uh, that is. Uh, we have that uh, kind of meat in the north uh -huh. Italy. So they just in put Verona, it in. Verona. Verona are very famous. That meat. Okay. Verona is the city of. Uh, uh, Juliet and Romeo. Juliet and Ju Romeo. Romeo and <laughs> Juliet. The most beautiful love story. They couldn't be together. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which 
which is sometimes yeah the, the story the story is just uh, beautiful how much you love one another yeah yes you yes, know the, the spiral is, is not beautiful. yeah yeah <laughs> but i think it's very common i mean it's this is the way it is no i hope not <laughs> <laughs> i hope not uh, I, yeah i hope not right <laughs> um no. so so it's better to enjoy the love exactly <laughs> not true to that. die for it true that <laughs> So the uh, the meat you just sprinkle lots of salt or you put it in salt water? How is it done? No, they put in the salt water for uh, one day for every kg. Okay. So after they clean, the, they change the water after uh, ten days. Right. Minimum. It's a long process. Mm, but the the result is uh, amazing. It's delicious. We done with this? Nearly. I think I've done. Nearly, yeah. Crushed black pepper mm -hmm. and beautiful. I love the way he decorated this with the rosemary and crushed black pepper. Finesse, simplicity, um, and we have this as a result. And we finish with balsamic vinegar. Beautiful. And some olive oil. Olive oil. That's it. Carlos, the presentation is just beautiful. Thank you. Um, I will definitely taste the potatoes <laughs> because of the, of the garlic. Can I just turn this oh, off? Yes. I, ha I have a fork. A little bit. Mmm. Very nice. Amazing. Thank Carlos, you. thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, if you don't want to cook, come to Jigolin in Marriott Hotel in Islamabad. Great! Like Carlos said, um, if you're too lazy to cook or uh, if you have a dinner, just come over to the Slambad Married Hotel. We will be uh, ready to serve you. I really enjoyed today's show because the recipes uh, were made with a lot of love and passion. The ingredients used were simple and the result uh, was flavorful recipes. Um, you can, um, of course, invite your friends and family, uh, create the bond. Uh, by making these amazing recipes. If you have any suggestions or feedback, you know what you have to do. Go on to our PDV World Facebook page and leave us a message. If you want to watch reruns, go on YouTube, just type Down With World and you'll find all our previous episodes. I'm going to sign off and I'm going to catch you next week with another exciting episode of Down With World. Till then, be good, stay positive, forgive others, be happy, life is short. Allah Hafiz.